breaking news. Suits seeking to stop Tinubu's inauguration for definite hearing in appeal court today. You're welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to this channel. Now to the news details. Please listen carefully to the end. The Court of Appeal in Abuja has set the stage for definite hearing today, Friday, May 19, 2023, in a fresh suit seeking prohibition of inauguration of the president elect Ashurajou Bola Ahmed Tinubu on May 29. The court ordered that the suit marked C A slash A B J slash C V slash two five nine slash twenty twenty three seeking to prevent Tinumbu from being inaugurated as the Nigerian's new president to take over government on may twenty ninth must be aired on Felilin by three PM today to clear coast for hearing of the suit. The appellate court on May 18 had a gender motion by Tinumbu and argued by Chief Wale Olanopeku San and in a brief ruling granted Tinumbu's request and joined him as the fourth respondent along with President Momo Dubuari and the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Immediately after joining Tinumbu in the suit, on the ground that he has interests that could be jeopardized, the court thereafter ordered that Buari, Attorney General of the Federation, INEC, and Tinumbu, as first to fourth respondents, should file their respondents' briefs and serve the appellate by 10 a.m. this morning. The appeal court also issued an order that the appellate, appellants should file their reply brief and serve the respondents by 12 noon today and subsequently fixed the suit for hearing by 3 p.m. also today. It was cited that the hearing notice on the notice board of the Court of Appeal and was confirmed by the first appellant in the matter, Chief Ambrose Albert Owen. The suit is instituted by a presidential candidate in the 2019 presidential election and constitution and the constitutional lawyer, Chief Ambrose Albert Owen and his political party, OP. Democratic Party HDP. Chief Ambrose Ab Albert Oburu, who was called to the National Nigeria Bar in 1982, is praying the Court of Appeal in Abuja to prohibit President Momodu Burawi, Attorney General of the Federation AGF, and the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC from inaugurating the 2023 president-elect on May 29. The politician who participated in the 2019 presidential poll on the platform of OP Democratic Party, Vont Burari and others to stop, stop, pardon, Vont Burari, AGF and INEC, stop from taking any further steps on the 2023 presidential election that produced Tinumbu as a winner. Uwuru, who claimed to be a George constitutional winner of the 2019 presidential election, predicted his gross against inauguration of Tinumbu or anybody else as successor to Burari on the ground that he has, actually, he has not spent his four-year tenure as required by law. Among others, Oboru insisted that President Burari has been supping his tenure of office since 2019 
because the Supreme Court has not determined its petition filed in 2019, in which it challenged the purported declaration of Burari as the election winner. His first suit was dismissed by Justice Inyang Edem Ekwo of the Federal High Court in Abuja on January 30, 2023, prompting his movement to the Court of Appeal to ventilate his anger. In 2019, when President Momodou Buhari was returning as the president of the country, he, took a, he did a rerun election. And during this process, Albert Oweru was under HDP. Actually, he said he went to the courts to file a petition, and because the court did not say anything concerning it, so the court, I should, it, it now came to the court in thus 2023 after the presidential election. That he wrote to the court that the president elect should not be sworn in based on the fact that his own petition has not actually been sorted and Burari has used his own four years so the court needs to talk about his own petition now leave on other petitions it does not care whoever will be succeeding succeed, pardon whoever will be the successor of Burari who should not be sworn in he until his own case in petition in the courts is been fixed. What can this happen since 2019? This is 2023, and the person you actually you went to seek a legal redress concerning the election will end up standing on May 29. Another ten, another president is coming up. Probably, if it was to be Brave that is coming up, probably for the second term. Then we can say the petition can be heard, the tribunal will not swear in Buhari. But now it is not Buhari that is coming up. It is Ashura Jubala Metinobu. But he's still standing on the ground that his own petition has not been determined. And he first took the petition to Supreme Court, to, to the Federal High Court. And when the Federal High Court dismissed it, he went to the Court of Appeal to ventilate his anger. Now, will this anger actually sort the issue on ground? Please share your view in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Thank you.